Hey everyone and welcome to a brand new video here on Insider Flyer. Today's video is about a topic that I am very interested in. It is the Boeing 777X. Now the scandals surrounding the Boeing 737 MAX have forced Boeing to focus much of their time and effort on fixing the Boeing 737 MAX and for that reason the airplane manufacturer has not given the public many details on the status of the Boeing 777X. It is believed that Boeing will still take a long time to regain the public's confidence competency after both 737 MAX crashes in Ethiopia and in Indonesia. Boeing delayed the public review of its new 777X-9 airplane out of respect for the families of victims of Ethiopian Airlines 737 MAX 8 crash. Last month, the company invited staff to come in and view close-up of Boeing's new flagship aircraft. It was at this point that many photos were leaked and that was the first time that we, that us, the public, got to see the first full painted 777X. The 777X-9 can carry up to 414 passengers in a two-class configuration and it can fly 7,500 nautical miles as a single tank on view. This capability is due to the plane's massive engines, which are the biggest ever placed on a commercial aircraft and have a diameter bigger than the Boeing 737 MAX series. On April 17th, the first, seven, the first 777 was moved to the Everett Few Dock to, for data collection and testing. And it was at this point that the series of tests on the 777X began. There have been quite a few tests on the 777X already, so that's what I'm going to share with you guys now. On April 20th, 20th there was an initial filling on the first 777-9, which has the serial number VH001. On May 3rd, there was an initial APU run on the very same aircraft. And on May 4th, the first two Boeing's 777 aircraft with the registrations November 779er X-ray Whiskey and November 779er X-ray X-ray were on the Boeing Everett flight line. And that is the last update that we have. All these informations were taken from a awesome Twitter account that I follow and I recommend that you do follow called Pain Airport by Matt Cobby. The 777X has, still has a long way to go before it performs its first flight, which should happen in about two months. The Boeing or yet has to do a lot of tests, include, including a fatigue test, which basically puts the aircraft to its maximum cap capacities, and that is when they decide what is safe to do and what is not safe to do on the aircraft's first flight. These triple, the first flight of the 777X has obviously been delayed by the ongoing struggles with the 737 MAX, but I believe that the first flight will happen in about two months from now. Thank you so much for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.